Hi guys, so I'm hoping this video is going to be um, a quick one compared to the last one which was like I think 30 minutes long, I do apologise. Um, this is my what to pack video and or oh, what I'm packing and this one is just going to be for clothes in general. I'll do um, I don't know what would you call it, everything else kind of in another video um, just so that they're both a bit quicker and I will be doing another video when I get back um, like a set of a similar kind like this but it will be just telling you what I needed, what I wish I did take, what I wish I didn't kind of thing like that um, because I've seen and read and a lot of things there's always loads of things that you wish you had and wish you hadn't took. So, let's get on with it. Um, just to quickly say, I am packing all my things in these things. Look like those Hoover bag things. Um, it's a bit like those organiser cubes. I'm kind of like organising things in these bags. Um, you kind of squeeze all the air out so they go really flat and um, you don't need a hoover, you just squeeze and they go flat like I said and they're waterproof and things like that so they're just like those waterproof cubes you can get for backpacking I just chose to get these just because they were a lot cheaper um, so yeah like this is all my bottoms as you can see there's some shorts and like there's leggings um, I've done some quick snippets for you guys to watch about some of the things I'm taking but some of the things I haven't mentioned um, is I'm taking some trackies track suit bottoms whatever you want to call them I don't know um, that is for travelling I won't be taking them in my backpack when I go because I'll be wearing them because I don't fly till night time so it will be quite cold here in England and I find planes are always quite cold even though when you land it's normally a red hot country and also this um, thin jumper just goes over a t-shirt you know it's quite lightweight so it's okay when it's in the backpack when it's not being used and then it just keeps me a bit warmer and snugglier on the plane so I have another one that I normally take um, so yeah and everything else I think I've shown you other than which you'll get seen two seconds I hope um, everything else I'll be taking vest tops things like that just plain things things that I've found in the back of the wardrobe I've not bought anything new some of them did still have the tags on but they've still been found in my wardrobe I've not actually gone out and bought them they've just never been used so it's perfect opportunity so yeah I hope you like the rest of the video and if there's anything else you need to know or want to know um, just let me know check out my blog bucketjunkie.com bucket list travel and more and um, yeah be a lot more in detail on there and also that is where you follow me for updated blog posts every day if I can't upload a video. One, two, three, four pairs of shorts. Three pairs of leggings. One very bright night outfit. A large sarong or cover. A scarf and a very flowery ring. Okay, so this is just a quick overview of everything. I'll just talk you through it quickly. A raincoat, um, a sarong, a really long one, users, lots of other things, some bandeau tops and like sports bra, a lightweight scarf. Here's some vest tops and boob tube things, be some marble. They're in the wash at the minute. And then um, 
a normal t-shirt that covers your shoulders some fluffy socks not that I'm going anywhere cold but I like fluffy socks to walk around in when I'm inside somewhere pyjamas two vest tops, some shorts and some linen cotton really thin long ones a skirt but I'm still undecided about that yet and then I have three dresses two lightweight maxi dress ones and then this is like a really cultural one covers you up everywhere you need to I got it from Tunisia so that's a good one over there I have some long white linen trousers for the day not pyjamas obviously three pairs of leggings Tour ankle length from one or three quarter they're good for travelling in whatever one full night outfit which I've seen um, some bikinis I have a high waisted one then two normal three bikini tops and a swimming skirt thing I think there's four pairs of shorts these are all cover upy things that I wear over my bikinis and sometimes vest tops all really thin lightweight just so that I'm not walking around in my bikinis obviously yeah and then here these are travelling things some like they're not really they are jumpers but they're not thick whatsoever um, and some tracky bottoms because they do get really chilly on the planes and obviously they'll be underwear and another bra or so um, I think that's it for that other than shoes but I'll show you that in a sec so yeah it's just a quick overview before I get packing let's go okay so this is my rucksack it is this brand they do a lot of the backpacking and things it looks like this I got mine from Sports Direct um, and it cost me £40 um, which is pretty cheap because I think the original price was like 80 so everything's like 50% off at Sports Direct so I would go there I also got um, a rain cover for it again that same brand this was also discounted I think it was £7 so yeah it is quite large I'll show you the back it's just a basic backpacking bag um, this isn't like um, a carry-on kind of thing this is what you check in so if you're planning to do backpacking and you're just taking a carry-on I wouldn't recommend this but if you're like me and you have check-ins then this is perfect it's 65 I think um, how much it holds I'll tell you the in the measurement but I can't remember and I've thrown all the tags away but it's 65 whatever they measure looks like um, so it's quite big holds a lot um, so yes that is it